The power of asking open-ended questions. Smart trial lawyers and thoughtful business owners listen more than they talk. They know that by actively listening to others, they learn new facts and information that will allow them to win more cases, close more deals, and accomplish more goals. Hi everyone, this is Mitch Jackson with another edition of your Trial Lawyer Communication Tips. This is where I share three decades of trial advocacy and communication tips to help good lawyers become great trial attorneys and smart business owners become better communicators. The art of conversation lies in listening. Malcolm Forbes. Look, in order to create an environment where you can talk less and listen more, you need to learn how to use and ask open-ended questions. An open-ended question is a question that can't be answered with a simple yes or no. It requires the person responding to share a bit more. In trial, instead of asking a witness, did you see X or did you see Y, which would simply allow the witness to answer yes or no, I'll ask something along the lines of, tell us what you saw. Now you see how that requires the witness to elaborate a little bit more than with just a yes or no response. Instead of asking a witness, did you read paragraph five of the written contract? I might instead ask something along these lines. What paragraphs in the contract did you read? And once again, this requires the witness to answer with more than just a yes or no response, and it allows for a dialogue. It allows me to dive in a bit deeper with more specific open-ended questions. So I hope you see the difference. In business, you can and should do the same thing. Instead of asking, do you agree with my position? Ask, tell me what you like or don't like about what we just talked about. See the difference? Instead of asking the question, were you satisfied with my services? Instead, ask, what did you enjoy most about being represented by my law firm? Or maybe, what would you like us to improve upon to provide better service the next time you reach out to us? Include asking open-ended questions to your daily life and then pay attention to what is said. Respond with another open-ended question. Let the dance happen. And when you do this, remember this important thought from Stephen R. Covey. Most people do not listen with the intent to understand. They listen with the intent to reply. If you enjoyed today's flash briefing, join me over at streaming.lawyer. Also, head on over to mitch.today and leave your rating, leave your review. Share this flash briefing with others who you feel might also enjoy my daily trial lawyer communication tips. That's it for today, you guys. My name is Mitch Jackson. Never stop moving forward, never stop enjoying the journey, and never stop making each day your masterpiece.